What's up guys, it's Warren here from Blue Cloud Creation X and I'm actually recording this video on a Sunday because as you can hear my voice is getting a little sick so I doubt I'd have any more energy during the week to make a video but so in this tutorial I wanted to go over using the, the cross-platform input manager for moving your character so let's get into it. If you remember in our last tutorial, we actually had our animation for our Among Us player. And if we do click run, our player starts running and that's that's a Boolean value, so it controls the animation state. So in this tutorial I'm going to go over the cross-platform input to move our character and use the Unity standard assets. So the way we do this is the first thing I want to do is go to Asset Store and we're going to go how do I edit this? I'm just trying to go back here. So I'm looking for this standard assets and then I'm going to import. Okay, so it wasn't that long. So we only want so I'm going to remove this, this. We're going to remove the whole sample scene and we only want the standard asset so what we do want is just the cross-platform input so I'm going to input this, I'm going to import this into our project Then it's doing the import. And it's still finishing up its importing. And okay, so we do have our standard import platform library. So the way we use this is I'm going to go into my player. I'm going to go into my player script. So this is just a default player script that's on him. So the first thing I'm going to do, I don't actually have, my autocomplete is not working, so I've actually got to manually type these things out. So if I do go into my... Here, I'm going to say using... Unity standard assets dot cross platform <coughs> excuse me and the next thing we want to do is we actually want to create a run method so run to turn run method and then in our run method we are going to create a float I'm going to call this control throw x so this is basically going to get our horizontal values for our movement. So I'll explain that in a second. So float, control, throw, x. We're going to use our cross-platform input manager. Get axis. And we want our horizontal Better to copy and paste because sometimes you can make a mistake. And then we want our Y. And it's going to be vertical. And the next thing we want to do is create a vector 2. So this basically gets our axis for horizontal. Let me show you quickly. If we do go into project settings 
and we see our input, this is actually the name as we hard coded in here, horizontal, and here we have a vertical. So these ones are using left and right, or A and D, and then we also have sensitivity. So, since, so what's basically happening is, let me bring out, let me open up paint. <coughs> so what, what's happening here is, we have a 1, then we have a 0. So when our character is actually stationary, and we're not moving the keypad, our horizontal and vertical is zero. But when we do, let's take for example, we do move it. We do move it horizontal. It's gonna move. It's gonna transition from zero to one. That's what our cross-platform input manager is doing. It's doing a transition from zero to one. So it's gonna go from zero to zero point two, three, four, five, and then we're gonna finally end up to one, which is gonna be the fastest movement, and then. Our sensitivity, as you can see here, is how fast it moves from 0 to 1. So if we increase our sensitivity to 100, you will almost instantly go from 0 speed, 0 velocity, to our velocity that we want. If our sensitivity is lower, it's going to move in decimals until it finally reaches. So we're going to move slow, slow, and faster, and then faster, and fast. And if our sensitivity is high, it's going to move from uh, very slow, from 0 to almost uh, full speed. So that's basically what's happening with our axis. So let me go back into our code. So we're creating a vector 2. And the next thing you want to do is I'm going to call this player velocity and new vector 2. So this vector 2 will take it in two things, two parameters. We want our control throw x and our control throw y. And then the last thing we want to do is we want to we want to take this velocity and add it onto the player. So what we need is our player's rigid body. So we say rigid rigid body 2D my rigid body and then in start we want the component so my rigid body get component it just gets the component from the inspector or from the component itself and we're going to say rigid body 2d so now that we have that, what we do is we say my rigid body dot velocity is equal to player velocity. And if we hit run, let's hit run. Okay, so I do have an error. Let's see what error is that. Quite a lot of things. I guess this is. Oh, I, f I always forget my return type. So, private void run. These errors, I'm sure it's something in the main camera oh, that I forgot to add an object to. So let's hit play. I actually want to close that asset store. Okay, so what's happening now is we click on game, we move right, move left, it's moving very slowly because it's not our velocity is not multiplied, it's up and it's down. So what we can do is go here. And then we can serialize field, serialize, serialize field, field, 
float my speed equals let's say 10f and then we'll multiply it here my speed and multiply this by my speed and we'll just see what's this complaining about so <clears throat> What is this? Let me just delete this. I was probably playing around with text. <coughs> I apologize for the coughs. So I'm just waiting for we just stop playing and then we're going to hit play again. Okay, so the errors is gone. Let me move left, right, up, down. Okay, so that's working. So guys, as you can see, if I move from 0 to... If I'm not moving to move, I move slowly first and then faster. But if I change the sensitivity, as what I was explaining before, so let's say 50 and our horizontal to 50 and then we close this you see it moves almost instantly there's no delay time from his faster speed to his stop and guys that's how you use the cross input cross platform input manager to move your character and if we do actually click on our running, you'll see that we're able to move our character while he's running. But that's for a different tutorial. I'm going to show you how to move, how to flip him left and right, and also switch his animations from standing still to moving. But that's it for the tutorial, guys. Hit subscribe, like this video, and in the description, you can follow me on Instagram and join the Discord server. But thanks for watching guys, cheers bye.